Good evening. Uh, today is August 29, 2023, and it's a uh, Tuesday. It is second day, second trading day of this week. And um, let's do a end of day review for today. The first look at the calendar, uh, economic calendar. So we see that um, tomorrow at 8.30, so we need to um, get up early, so we make sure that we are watch how to move at uh, 8.30 right there. So the setup for today move and yesterday, um, it set up the volume or the it create it form a setup for tomorrow move so we see that on friday it start uh you know it start re basically it's it's retrace it start going up that's what i'm trying to say okay look at the four hour time frame break right? right here so we see the friday the first candle is very quick and very tiny body right there so it's it, it kind of indecision right there but the second candle is start pop up and then you see on sunday this is a liquidity you know um rate right there and it go up you have another one liquidity rate right there today and then another retracement right here and boom a huge candle right here okay look at the trade that we are um, we are putting to our journal today right so we have a tuesday long at 9 30 setup that the setup we are calling right it's not um related related to ICT uh, or DR model basically we see this pattern show up right this pattern is right here on Monday in the first candle of the four hour at nine o'clock right there if we see that on Tuesday a retest around that area it just retests or liquidity um rate right there or stop you know um the stop run is not gonna be a market structure shift then we know that we're going whenever it break away from the closed candles of that monday so that's our logic way right there so if it move moving up away from the close of this candle then our entry is 9 30 on tuesday you know um where then should be our stop lock in this case our stop lock just below this candle that's the four hour time frame right there yeah when it retests and the target is the buy side liquidity for six four four six right it's right there we know that you're gonna take this by side of the and um and this target it hit at uh what time yeah it hit that target at 10 36 in the one minute time frame right there so basically we go in right here at 9 30. it did not you know you see it's a very clean you know um clean up move so basically it's a a low resistant liquidity run right there that ict um term right there is is 
we can see that at 10 36 but it's way go up, way up, up above that um, uh, at this level right yeah. but you know if we set the target there then we get out 10 36 so it's about an hour right you go in at 9 30 and get out 10 36 so it's about an hour that's the trade that we are uh, log into our journal right there and one more thing right here um, if you look at the one hour time frame we missed that I mean this morning um, this morning I kind of uh, um, get up a little bit late so I um, I'm not quite uh, prepared and I used to too when I going to this morning so I, I kind of mix right here the setup is very beautiful um, it's the ICT concept setup right there so you see the you see right here right the auto block the bullet bullet auto block right here at 12 I mean at 13 on uh, on Monday right And you see the fair value gap right there. It's just the overlap. I think ICT have a term for this. I think it's called unicorn. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, he means unicorn is the ba a breaker, not the order block. But you see right here, wow. Order block, fair value gap right there. It overlap with this order block and at the retest see right there and right here you have a condition so perfect uh, the liquidity condition you see the sell side liquidity were rated right here right rated and then you have a buy side liquidity were what you drop it and make a low high low high low high and it's make a low 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 go to retest that favor like that boom it rip up yeah, we, we, we mix this setup. We yeah, I do I did look at the one hour, but I I cannot identify this. It, I just identify around noon when I look again. I say, how do I miss this um, move? Did up move? Um, then I look carefully at the one hour time frame again, and I saw this setup so. So it's a, a lesson learned for us. Uh, we need to burn it into our brain so next time we know that next time when it's formed in real time we can recognize. So one more thing we can put into our note right here. Right. This is a yeah it's just the same setup but it is a one hour four hour time frame right um yeah i think they put up here here teacher long setup and it's a very low resistance liquidity one right there so on um, one hour is a auto block uh, farewell gap retest right <coughs> normally you want the farewell gap above the auto block and it pull back but in this case, the overlap is, um, I mean, the auto block is, is uh, overlap the federal gap. So that, that's special case right there. Okay, so in the future, whenever on Tuesday, we look for this setup. We look for the Monday both up close. 
and we wait until it's still too long, long when it goes to retest, you know, uh, that's candle on Monday, right? Uh, Monday right now. And another factor we need to put in here. So basically, we see that the little bit consolidation right here, right? Consolidation, manipulation, boom, right there. Do we see any manipulation move? It's hard to see right here. Yeah. Okay, and um, what else we want to put in here? I want to put something, but I just think of something else and then it's just gone. So basically, I want to say that for this setup, we're looking for a Okay, I see it now. So basically we're looking for a consolidation. Consolar okay, consolidation. Consolidation, right? On Monday with a huge volume. Exactly what happened. Right? <coughs> Yesterday we saw um the the consolidate not on, on 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 monday but we did point out it's, it's huge volume in this case you know we saw 102 million share that's way above you know uh ray million versus the 60 day average what is 60 day average um, yesterday we did look this we capture right we see that that's the huge volume right there 100 and the the increase is only 60 per percent right there and we we capture it's a range there which is just a consolidated but the huge volume so basically the Monday is is set up um, is set up by side liquidity so it can go up so that means maybe a lot of people shorted yesterday the rest reason why we see that the skew is dropped yesterday even though the volume is huge that means a lot of people are selling and that means it trapped lots of buy side. That's the reason why today it is slow. However, we can see that the volume today is not huge at all. Right? It's, it's, it's not huge. Um, I think I mean, 76 million share. So it's, yeah, that's, that is one of the environment, you know, environment condition that we need to take a look on any Tuesday from now on right we look at this we see if it meet this requirement and then this requirement then sure we're gonna go long and it's a very low resistant liquidity run for us it's very easy trade we never never our money always in the money always you know it's the easy trade right there it's easy money easy trade right there if, if, if we go long today we don't have any problem so it's a huge let's learn first right there look at a five minute time frame you see it's smooth running up 
but you see the liquid, uh, the volume only 61,000. But the day that, the day before that is 100, 100 million share. This one the 61 million share. But you see right there? So even if you go in at uh, 930 right here, you would have stopped lot right here. I mean, it's not a huge stop loss at all. It's London low, right? And I think we saw right here the bullish breaker right here. It not even uh, yeah it did test that it break breaker and then it break up right there. We know that it gonna retest this one and it did and then break away. But we didn't enter here right here for some reason we didn't e e even uh, have a incentive uh, to go in right here. But the bottom line is this move is so clean. So basically, yesterday is just the setup for today move, huge move up. So if we go in at any of this, we still in good money. Um, only, only in the money, we never um, have any discomfort when it go again in opposition if we go longer right there. And for the DR model, uh, it reached the target 0 0.5 standard vision right there. So if you are retracement around here, right? I think the master, the author of DR model, he say that around 10, 50, this is the perfect retracement uh, for the DR go long and it's a perfect setup to go in. And uh, let me see how much um, it it move. Wow, a lot, almost two dollar. Wow, we underestimated that. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I I, <coughs> I read the Twitter. The master he says something about he basically ha he have a system that track the retracement and the time basically he say that when the retracement fall on this time window then it's a perfect to go in and go long yep Mm, yeah, so you go along right here, 1055, you gain about $2.97. Why don't we go that? Why don't we go in here? Give me some time, I'm very um, <coughs> resistant to go with the, the DR model because, you know, we have to wait until 1030. So that's see that how patient. The people who trade with the R model they have to be patient, waiting after 1030. They don't rush, just follow each other. So that's what we are trying to do also. But we're gonna we're gonna collect the data and we're gonna build our own um, DR data, like a, the master, right? He have he collected the data for 20 years. So you have exactly you know what what time the retrace, retracement gonna take place and what is the property probability right now. So he collect a very good data and that's the job that we need to do. We need to collect all the data so we can have basically our training is based on the data we collect. And the system we try to be is based on the feedback, the feedback which is the data we are collecting. That's very simple, that's no secret at all. Okay, now we think that's all the trade we, 
we want to discuss for this section. We have about 10 minutes left, so let's look at the 4 hour or 1 hour. We see where it's going from now. Man, it's the huge wick right here. It's similar to this one. So maybe that is signal to go up more. Right? So this is the huge down move, right? And then this one at the retracement. And boom, you want it to go down. But it did not, it fell. So that means maybe this is a signal to let it know that the market structure ship is shipped back to go up. Nice. And we want to see if it reached level. Yeah, it's almost there. 450. Hmm. 450. I think that's under the 4 hour time frame. Yeah, right here. This special, special candle right here. Yes, this special candle right there on Wednesday, July 12th. So this area is very, um, okay, no, no, right here. This auto block right here. This auto block right here. Let's see. What is the open? 50 50 52 for 50 52 yep so we want to see if it read this tomorrow so if it break through this on the block then for sure it's gonna be a bullish this is a bearish auto clock at four and it will be okay at four on Friday. So yeah, that's the next level we want to see if it's if it break through right there. And this level is, is the same, this level right here is a bearish breaker also. It coincident with the bearish breaker right there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it's <coughs> how, how how the price gonna react to this tomorrow. Right. It's depend on the on the GDP data release also. So basically right here we see the the market structure ship right here. And we make we miss the move right here. It's a giant move right there. Man. Let's see how much we we should have made if we are oh man giant move right there six dollar eighty nine cent move can you believe that man so today the, we need to put that in our database. Oh, should I play that? It's a six dollar eighty. Eighty. How much? Eighty nine cent. Move to the upside. Man, we missed that. Ah. Oh. But that's the psychology, the, 
the emotional aspect into it in that we have to do. We have to do the don't worry, next time the market will give you a better setup and a huge the move. So just focus you know our attention on on the learning aspect in instead of, instead of you know making money and with you mixing out and with you um yeah with you mixing out right because that's the move up there yeah. if you're mixing out if you're formal right there we need to move away from that mm, and one of the the way to have a smooth way that is that away from, from that emotion is that we need to desensitize that right um, by desensitize we just um, observe every day so then we don't see that it's really a big deal when we we mix this because we know that um, the markets always bring us opportunity and we should not be greedy we should stay in our land yeah because the minute we become greedy uh, that means uh, the emotional take control of us and uh, we are not in a good position we can easily you know um, overcharge with the emotion and if we will make a lot of bad trade decision right there that's our ponder right there thinking all right yeah i think when we look at this chart we see this is the huge on fr last friday it's the huge signal for us that is the auto block and it's the retest a little bit little bit retracement right here and it's gonna go and take our you see it's take our liquidity of this also wow that's a huge that's no wonder it's pushed up losses sell shallow liquidity i mean buy shallow liquidity up there Yep. So to remember this one, right? And what is the high of this one? Fifty two. Fifty two. Ninety. Oh, uh, is I wrong too? Maybe it's 290 right there. Yep. Maybe it's 290. So, and this is the bearish order block at 4, and this is the high. Right, the high. Yep, the high of that. Okay, let's look at the <coughs> let's look at the daily we see anything. So let's see. I think I need to fix this number real quick. Right, the day is eight twenty nine. So that's today. See here, we are with thirty. Right, and it's a Tuesday. And it's a giant move up right here. It's a giant move down on Thursday, I believe. Thursday, Friday, Monday, and then Tuesday. 
So this act as a bullish order block, and you see the level up with there. I don't know if may gonna retest this order block. I mean this fellow up an order block and go up again. Let's see. That could be the reason. But right here we have a giant. Oh, now we see. You see the huge gap right here. So this move is go gonna seek that imbalance. Wow. You see right there. You seek that imbalance and boom, it's gonna sell off. Because you have order block, fair value gap. In this case, it's a strong fair value gap. It's, it's more than better. It's a volume void or volume uh, volume voice or volume gap right here. Wow, where do you see that? Yes, yes, yes. So that can give us the reason why it seek to go up. Why it seek buy side liquidity because they are a an efficient and balanced right there. Yeah, I see. Huge. So I would like to put a color. Mm, what color? I you act as like a supply, right? We sell. It should be a red color. Right there, but let make it transparent. Yes. So we know that. Um. Yep. It may. It may is a magnet right here. I think it's gonna go there and seek out liquidity at this level. And then it can boom. It's gonna go down because it, not, it haven't retest yet. It's retest and boom. It's gonna retracement and go down. And whether that retracement down turn into a reversal go down or it's gonna go back up again, that is another question. But for sure, we know this move gonna happen. It's gonna sit right there. So we have a very good setup that it's gonna reach this level so we can go along and reach the level and get out that's the trade we look for tomorrow all right that's it for now thank you have a good evening wonderful evening and uh, happy trading bye for now